The Garden of Banban 7 official trailer is out in less than 10 hours, and we actually know a lot more about the game than you think, including a teaser that might reveal a major plot point in the seventh game, potential confirmation that Banban isn't dead, the exact release date of the game, and so much more. So as you probably know by now, the Euphoric Brothers have officially revealed the release date of the official trailer in this teaser image. The trailer comes out on April 13th at 10 a.m. EST, and you can convert that time to your specific time zone. But what I'm more curious about is the center of the teaser, a wide open cage. A lot of people drew the connections between this cage and the cage Banban locked Nablab into, but these are most likely two separate cages, mainly because of the location. While Nablab's cage was right outside the door leading to the scepter, this cage seems to be in Syringin City, which is called Sitinjin. If you recall, these two locations are pretty far away from each other, so are unlikely to be the same cage. So who was this cage for? Well, I believe that there are two options, Bitigigal and Syringin. If Syringin truly turns out to be a good guy, then the cage is probably for Bitigigal. Syringin probably is trying to protect his city and its civilians from Bitigigal's monster form. But if Syringin turns out to be a villain, which is what I personally believe, then this cage was probably for Syringin. He was probably locked in the cage by an unknown character. If true, Syringin being revealed to be evil would be a huge plot twist. But what I find almost as interesting as Syringin being a villain is the release date of the seventh game. And I actually think I know the exact release date, since the release date announcement videos usually come two to three weeks after the official trailer comes out, and that the game usually comes out one week after the release date announcement we can expect the seventh game to come around early May. And they also usually release games on Wednesdays or Fridays, which I think narrows it down to two dates. If we assume that they upload the release date announcement video exactly two weeks after the official trailer, and release the game around one week later, it gives us the dates May 1st and May 3rd, which is actually sooner than a lot of us were thinking. And last but not least, I might actually have proof that Banban Ban isn't dead. Recently, the Euphoric Brothers created a Discord server forgotten of Banban, Ban. and in this server, they answer questions and talk to the community. It's basically like the Poppy Playtime Discord, and Faris, one of the brothers, actually said something that may imply Banban Ban survived his encounter with Sedadadu. Faris says that he's chilling with Banban. Ban. While this may seem like a one-off joke, this could potentially be hinting at Banban Ban surviving. Because how could he hang out with someone if he's dead? Banban Ban is also the main mascot of the game so it's already unlikely they killed him off. And since we're on the topic of Garden of Banban 7, I'm actually holding a giveaway for the seventh game once it comes out. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is like the video, subscribe, and comment why you think you deserve the free copy. You must do all these three steps to enter the giveaway.